So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool grappling gun that pulls boxes and yeah, other stuff too. Like this. Looks fun, right? So yeah, let's get started. So here inside of Unity, I have made this simple environment with boxes, ground and whatnot. So let me show you how it looks like. So simply the boxes fall down due to gravity. And I have made these prefabs here. So for the box, I have added a rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D. And for the bullet here, I have added a circle collider and a rigid body 2D also. And also I have set the gravity scale to zero. Now it's time to add the gun. So let's go to sprites and let's drag and drop this revolver here. Well, of course, I'll put a link to it in the description. And here we cannot see this, so let's go to sprite and change the layer to foreground. And if you don't know how to create layers, you can just go to layers and add more layers to it if you want to. But the gun here is facing the wrong way, so let's flip it in the, in the x axis. Alright, so now let's change the position of our gun. And place it somewhere around here. And also let's scale it down a bit. So yeah, this looks pretty good. So now we want the gun to shoot bullets. So for that, let's first create a empty game object inside of the gun for the shoot point. So let's call this shoot point. And we will set the shoot point position and place it at the tip of the gun. So let's set this somewhere around here. Alright, so this looks good. So let's now go ahead and create a gun script for our gun. Call this gun script. Hit create an ad. And now we can just go ahead and open this up. Alright, so here we will need to create a few variables first. So firstly, let's make a public game object for the reference of our bullet. Let's call this bullet. And let's make a public float for the bullet speed. Alright, and we also need to make a reference for our shoot point. So public transform, call it shoot point. And lastly, we will calculate the direction from our gun to the mouse. So let's make a vector 2 direction. And now inside of the update method, we will make a vector 2 to store the mouse position. So camera dot man screen to valve point and here we will just in put in input dot mouse position. Alright. And now we can just calculate the direction. So which will be equal to the uh, mouse position. So let's put in mouse position minus uh, the transform root position, meaning the position of our gun. And of course we have we will have to cast as the vector 2 to perform this operation. So let's put in vector 2 here. Uh, Alright, so we have the direction. Now it's time to make a new function to utilize this direction. So I'll call this face mouse. And inside of this method here, I'll just set the right direction of our gun to always face the direction that we just calculated up here. So let's put in direction and we will just call this method up here in the update method. Alright, cool. So now we can just save this and test this out inside of Unity. So here we don't have to change anything. So let's just go ahead and click on play. And here we can see the gun actually follows the direction of our mouse. That's cool. So now we want the gun to be able to shoot bullets. So for that, let's just go inside of the update method and create. And here we will check if we have pressed the press the right mouse button. And if we have, then we will uh, uh, call some function here. So let's make a shoot function here. And here we will just call the shoot method. Now inside of this method, 
we will want to instantiate a bullet first. So let's instantiate bullet at the shoot point dot position. Shoot point dot position, and we don't have to actually give an interpretation. So let's just type in quaternion dot identity, and let's store this in another variable. So we I'll call it bullet instance. And now we can just add force to our bullet to move it. So let's type in bullet hence. So the bullet that we created we will get the rigid body 2D component from the bullet and we will add some force to it in the transform dot right direction. So and we will multiply it by the speed. So let's multiply it with bullet speed. Alright, so that's all we need to do here. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity. And here we need to drag and drop both the bullet and the shoot point. So let's drag and drop this here. And set the bullet speed to let's say 1500. Of course you can change this and now let's hit play. And here we go, we can shoot bullets but they pass through the boxes. Which is because I have set the circle collider 2D to its trigger here. So here it is, it is set to its trigger and we need to keep it like this, I'll show you why. Alright now we want to create a line from the gun to the box that we have hit and for that and for that we need to create a line renderer on our gun here. So let's add component line renderer. Let's first change the material here. And we will set this to line default here. Default line. Alright, and also let's change the width to 0.2. And change the color to a bit more darker shade. So let's try this black here. Something like this. And also because I have set the foreground and background layer, so I'll just change this to foreground because I want it to appear on the foreground layer. Alright, so now we can just go ahead and open up our gun script. And up here we need to make a reference to the line renderer. Public line renderer. And I'll just call this line. Alright, now, but to connect the line renderer, we need a new script on the bullet. So, when the bullet hits any boxes, we will set the position of the of our line to that box that uh, it has hit. Let's go ahead and select our bullet here, and let's make a new script. I'll call this bullet script. Let's open this up inside of Visual Studio. And firstly, we will need to make a reference for our, to our gun script. So gun script and I will call this gun and inside of the start method we will find the gun using the gun tag. Let's go to gun here and also we will get the gun script component from the gun that we find. Alright. And also we can just get rid of the update method because I don't think we will need the update method here. And let's make a on trigger on trigger 2D method. Collider and I'll call this call. And here we will check if the bullet has hit something that has a tag of let's say box. So when the bullet hits some box we will call in some function here. So let's go to the gun script and let's create a new method. Well, let's make a public void and we will call this target hit. So when the bullet hits something we will call this method here. And we will pass in a parameter of type game object. We will call this hit. And here we need to make a private reference for our target. So the box that we hit. So let's make a game object and let's call this target. 
Alright, so now instead of the targeted method, we will set the target is equal to whatever we hit. And now we can just go inside of the bullet script and here we will call this targeted method. Uh, right? And here we will pass in whatever game object that we hit. So call the game object. Alright, now we can just go back inside of the gun script. And here inside of the update method, we will make a new condition here. So if target is not equal to null, meaning that if we have hit something. So we will set the starting position of our line, so the first index to the shoot position. So shoot point dot position. And let's copy this, paste it here and the second point to the uh, position of the target that we hit. So let's type in target.transform.position. Alright. So yeah. So now inside of the start method we will just disable this line renderer. And when we have hit something. Here we will set the line renderer set to enable is equal to true. Alright, so that's basically all we need to do. Let's head back inside of Unity and let's pass in our line renderer to this slot here. Cool, so we can just go ahead and try this out now. We will make sure that the box has the correct box tag and also our gun has the gun tag here. So let's change the tag to gun and let's try this out now. Alright, so now if we shoot something and the line draws to from the position of our gun to the box here but still the bullet can travel through the boxes well that's a problem because we don't want it to do that so let's go back inside of the bullet script bullet script and here when it hits something we will just destroy the bullet so destroy game object all right and now we can test this out again so that's it play and now if we hit something the bullet just gets destroyed and it doesn't hit any more boxes well that's pretty cool so now what we want to do here is to make the gun pull the object to itself so let's add a spring joint to d2 of our gun firstly we will set this auto configure distance to null and let's say leave the distance as is and we need to change the frequency to 0.125 here all right and now let's head inside of the gun script and we will need to make a reference for our spring joint so public spring joint 2d and let's just call this spring you can call it to whatever you want so now let's go down a bit and here we will set the spring joint to enable and also in the start method we will set this to disable so false here and now we can connect the spring joint so let's type in a spring dot connected body to our target so let's type in target and we will get the widget body 2d component of our target here all right and yeah that's all we need to do here so let's save this and we can try this out so let's go back to unity let's drag and drop this spring joint here and also let's set the rigid body on our gun to steady because it won't be moving much and here let's set the connected anchor to zero and zero also we will just change the distance to zero and we can now dial this out so if we hit something Awesome, so everything's just everything's working just fine except for the fact that we cannot release the boxes. And in order to do that, we need to go back to our gun script and here we will just check if the player has let's say press the space button. So key code dot space. And if we have we will call in some method here. So let's create a so let's create a new method called it release 
And inside of this, we will just set the line and the spring joint to false. And also, we will set the target to null. And we will just call this method. So the release method up here when we press the shift space key. All right, so let's save this and hell, let's head back inside of Unity. And now, if we hit something, cool. We can just leave it when we press the space key. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's it for this video. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I have set up a Patreon account. So if you want to help me continue making these tutorials for you, you can do so by becoming a Patreon there. And I'll of course leave a link to this in the description. And also the whole project will be available on Patreon if you want it. And until next time, see ya.